Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using extensions in Middleman. One of the cool things about Middleman is that in addition to just like the core Middleman base code, there's also a bunch of awesome extensions that the community has developed, which you can download and use inside of your site. So there's all sorts of little like plugins and extensions that will do little things or sometimes big things in your middleman website and it'll basically increase the productivity of your site. So I'm over here on this directory.middlemanapp.com page and this is the official like directory of all the different things that middleman offers. So things like extensions, templates and services and I'm over here on this extensions uh, section of this site and if you just kind of scroll down you'll notice that there's all sorts of different extensions that we can use so here's one that like minifies html like here's live reload middleman blog um, there's stuff for bootstrap stuff for ember so there's a bunch of these different extensions and basically what i want to talk about in this video is how you can download install and use any of these extensions that you want so basically what you should do is just scroll through here and, and find an extension that you want to use. Um, in my case, I think this middleman minify HTML one should work. So I'm going to click on this and generally what this is going to do is it'll bring you to like the home page of that extension. Now in the case of this extension, we're on a GitHub page and normally if you're on a GitHub page, there should be something down here called readme.markdown and for whatever extension you're on, you want to make sure that you read up about how it works. So for example, here are some installation instructions, here's some configuration instructions, and then there's a bunch of stuff down here about like, you know, things that it does. So pick a extension that you want to use and you want to figure out um, the installation instructions and then how you can configure it. So in our case, we basically um, just need to install the middleman minify HTML gem into our project and then we can activate it using this minify.html command. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to go over into my project and I'm going to show you how I can use this extension. The first thing that I want to do is go over to this gem file. And inside of this gem file, we want to add in the name of the gem that we want to download. So in the case for us, it's going to be middleman minify html right so that's the actual name of the gem that we're downloading and i want to go then into my config.ruby file and we need to activate this gem so i can say activate and here i want to put the name of the extension that we're using so in our case this was minify html so again you want to find this inside of the documentation for the extension so i can just put minify underscore html here and now what's going to happen is i basically just need to tell middleman to go out and grab this minify.html um, gem so what i want to do is come down here and i just have my server running and i want to type in bundle install and this is going to go through and it's going to run a bunch of stuff and you'll see here that it says that we're using middleman minify html 3.4.1 so whichever extension that you add onto your middleman project you want to make sure that it shows up when you uh, use that bundle install command so now what's going to happen is i'm assuming it's just going to minify all of our html so i'm over here on my website and i'm just going to view the page source you can see right here um, that this page source isn't minified, right? So it's, it's all just out here. So when I start up my server again, what should happen is all this HTML should get minified when I refresh the page. And when I refresh the page, you see that that's what happens, right? So that's the extension that I'm using. If you want to turn off one of your extensions, you can just uh, comment out the line that's activating it. So now when we refresh our page, it's not minified anymore, right? So it's really easy once you've installed the extension into your middleman project to just turn it on and turn it off and you can control it with that activate command just like that so obviously like there's a bunch of these different extensions that you can look through and you can kind of like pick and choose which one you want to use and then all you have to do is just follow the steps in this video and you'll be able to implement them into your project
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.